What is up guys, it's Nibim here, and welcome back to the Binding of Free Rebirth. Um, I don't remember what happened last time. I think we did well with Eden. Yeah. Or no, maybe that was two times ago. We did well with Eve, that's who we did well with. Alright, um... I'll play, uh... I'll play Lazarus today. Why not? People say they don't really like Lazarus, but I don't really mind him. hes I don't think he's that bad. Because he has base Isaac health and then just more items. More powers, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, Lazarus has an extra life. That, um... He respawns with one uh, one red heart and the uh, anemic effect, I believe, which means that if he gets hit in a room, he'll spawn red creep blood that tracks around and uh, does some damage to enemies. It's nice. So I yeah, I really don't think Lazarus is bad because he has the same stats as Isaac and. Um, he just has another little power up, so I I think he's good. They're, yeah, I think he's pretty all right. Anyway, um, we picked up Blood of the Martyr for our first item, so that's really good because it's a damage up. And damage ups are great. So I can't see my health this floor because of Curse of the Unknown. That's what it is. All right, gotta remember those curses. And so I know I'm at two and a half red hearts right now. It's fine. I'm definitely gonna bomb for the soul heart that was between those rocks. Now I'm at three hearts, three red hearts. Definitely gonna bomb for that soul heart over there. So yeah, Duke of Flies, good, especially when you, I can one shot some of the flies that he spawns. Maybe not the ones that take a little more effort, like those big ones, but I'm doing well. Oh, I have an itch in my hand. Ouch. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, alright. So we get a range up. Grab this soul heart. Go bomb for the other soul heart. And then we'll be on our way. So, the pill that we got in the beginning, Lazarus also starts with a pill. It doesn't have to be good, but ours was this time. And it was I Can See Forever, which shows up us the secret and top secret room, and that's why we could get into them without having to bomb into them or anything. <laughs> Alright, so keys are great because I need them for the item room. Hello, item room. And, um, hopefully I can visit that cursed room after I finish the boss, or beat the boss. If I die to the boss, I'll be disappointed because I like the start. I don't like that item, though. That's Bob's brain. It's, uh,. It's like an explosive familiar. It's kind of a familiar. You shoot it, and it explodes. It follows you around, and then it'll respawn sometimes. And uh, it causes me to take damage a lot. Like, I'll blow myself up walking into a room. So, I don't think it's good. But, you know, people have a, their own opinions about it. We picked up the uh, mysterious candy as our trinket. And that does is sometimes it spawns poop. That's it. That's all it does. It's better than nothing, I guess. Not bad by any means. I don't know why I went in here before going to the boss, but um, I did. So deal with it. Do you guys want to come over here so I can get this Cinder Rock for free? Hey, hey, hey! Hello. Darn. Darn. Thank you. Still got it for free. I think I took a full heart of damage from getting hit by that guy, though. Which really sucks. Alright, Pin, what you got for me? Yep. So they made Pin have a ton of health in this game. Which is not that bad, actually. And, uh... He can't blow himself up anymore with his own bombs. So that... That's kind of unfortunate, but it's alright. Another damage up in the form of growth hormones. That's great. And we'll pick up another damage up in the form of the mark. Which is also great. 
Mark gives us one damage up and a soul heart, I believe. And a little bit of a speed up. We also got a ton of speed from uh, growth hormones. So, it's good, I guess. I'd much rather be extremely fast and extremely slow. I think anyone can say that. Oh, I'd like that key, please. We have this judgment card. And what that does is it'll spawn a beggar when I use it. I don't have enough money right now, so I'm going to save it until I do. And, uh, we're on pace for the boss rush, I'd say. Going to the caves at 440. Pretty solid. Doing lots of damage, that's really nice. For a change, I'm doing lots of damage. I've not been getting much damage in the past little while of this file of runs. Last time I did get Dark Boy though, so that's really good. I don't have to worry about that. That was for taking no damage in the... I believe it was the Dark Room that I took no damage in. Joker. That's really good. I'll save it. It's a teleport to the, uh... To the Devil Room. No! Absolutely not. I hate this item. It's a mysterious attractor, and it attracts enemies to your tears. It completely throws off the way you play, and it's, it's just not good. I, I took it once, I got hit I don't know how many times within like the first minute of having it. I think I lost like three hearts in the first like two rooms or something stupid like that. So, definitely not interested in that. Hopefully, hopefully I've already picked it up, so I don't... I probably haven't, but I'll pick it up later. I don't want to ruin this run. Because I feel like that item does ruin my run. Honestly, that was stupid. Ah, oh, darn you. There we go. Alright, so boss, what am I looking for? I have no clue what I'm looking for, honestly. Brimstone? I'm always looking for Brimstone, though. Brimstone is fun as hell. And extremely powerful in this game. Much more powerful than in the last game. It obliterates enemies. Like Brimstone Obliterate. Like that. That powerful. Alright, what have we got in here? Mega Fatty. Well, it's, it's a boss. I don't really like it. That, ta that attack isn't always dodgeable just because you're not always moving when you're fighting him. I think it's only dodgeable if you're already moving. Like, oh, okay. That jump's fine. Yeah, ow. That's like the first time I've been hit by that. Oh, that was close. Nope, you're not sucking me in today. I knew you were going to do that. Alright. Damage up, shot speed up. Not getting any health ups. Let's check out what's in the... Ooh, Krampus. This could be good no matter what. So, I, I want both of his items, which are the Lump of Coal and Krampus' head. I don't know which I prefer, though, because Lump of Coal is really good because shot speed doesn't affect it in this game. It's judged by distance. But we get Krampus' head, which is a four-way brimstone shot that just obliterates things. Alright. Of course, I am trying to go to the boss rush. And I'll probably get, like, one second off. Which is usually what happens. As you can see, I just completely, like, invalidated that, um, mini boss fight with Krampus' head. So that was nice. Aw, oh, darn you. Damn it, I'm getting hit so much. I need to stop that. Uh, I don't want this. Yeah. Darn, I didn't completely finish the room. Hey, no, 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 no. 
I need my health. I'm at very low health right now. So, um, of course, getting Krampus counts as skipping a devil room, but we've already taken the mark, which is a devil room item, so not a big deal. I think we still have very low angel room chance. Because I believe in this game you can earn angel rooms, you just have to have faith items. Like, after you've taken the deal with the devil. Alright. Tears and shot speed up. That's fine. I'll wait on the eternal heart, because it's conveniently in the boss room. And I gotta go find the item room now. It says Catacomb Caves 2. Right. Have I un I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've unlocked, I'm sure I have unlocked the catacombs, but... I don't know. Oh, that was close. Alright. You wanna open up? Do it again. Open up. Thank you. Maggie's faith is definitely better than uh, the poop trinket. Or the mysterious candy, that's what it is. Maggie's faith gives you an eternal heart at the start of every floor. So, it's really good if you get it. The it's better the earlier you get it, but um, still, definitely still useful in my situation. Uh, yeah, why not? Definitely didn't need it in that room, but you know. Oh, I hate these enemies. High shot speed shots that I have trouble dodging like 90% of the time. Ares is ramming speed. I don't know if it's just a speed up or whatnot, but makes me go fast. I guess. I don't really feel much of the speed up. I mean, I guess I can feel it now. But, uh, I don't really like the item like that much. I'd much rather some other items, of course. There are usually better items than what you get. Like, 99% of the time there's a better item than what you got. But, uh, it's, this is a thing. Saving my Krampus' head for this room. Thank ya. For the bomb and the free room. Don't want to get hit by that brimstone laser. That would not be pleasant. Tinted rocks in here. I don't see any. So I'm just going to assume there, there, that there aren't any. Because I don't want to look. Alright. Nickel is nice. If I don't have my, uh... Ooh, yes! Mom's Contacts Freeze Effect. If I don't have my Krampus' head charged for the boss, I'll, I'll just do another room. But I'm assuming I'm gonna find the boss soon. But Mom's Contacts is really good, because it's a chance to freeze enemies on hit. So hopefully we can get some luck-ups and stuff. Alright, perfect. Four. Hey, that wasn't nice. Alright. Goodbye. There's my cube of meat. It's a nice orbital. Guppy piece that I definitely don't need. And uh, I've been to the item room. Yeah, that's all I really want. Alright. So we're probably going to be able to clear this next floor, because we left the Depths 1 very, very quickly. It's definitely alright, though. Alright. Oh, nope. I almost ran right into that. Alright, Krampus' head is all charged up. Bye, room. Nope, I'm not going to go in that room. Alright, yeah, I will. Never mind. Oh, alright. Well. Hey, why didn't you guys die? I got the. My black heart. You, if these guys have more than 60 health, that's a little ridiculous. I believe it does 60 damage to black hearts when you lose them. There's my item room. Alright. 
soul heart. We're getting good soul heart luck. Two in that one room. And we're just gonna pick up technology, which is really good. Infinite range. And, uh, good times all together. Infinite range and piercing tears is what it is. Alright, polycephalus, get the fuck up. Excuse me, polycephalus. Right here. Thank you. I don't want to use both my keys on that room. I'd just rather not. Oh my god. I did that. I have to remember to stop walking when I enter a room. Alright. Oh, we're at 13 minutes. Oh my god, I'm dumb. That was almost really dumb again. Should be able to get 15 cents. Two more cents should not be like this hard to come by. Darn. I'm not going to use Krampus' head for the rest of the floor in case we don't get enough rooms to recharge it. Alright, just one more cent. For the mom fight, I mean. I'm using it on the mom fight. Yeah, this is the depths too. I'm not crazy. I swear. Alright. Hey, nope. Screw you guys. Those frickin' fricks. I really don't like those, uh, skeletons. Not gonna go to the curse room, I'd rather keep my health, because we might have a little trouble in the womb. <sighs> We're very fast, that's my problem. Alright, pick up negative. Boss Rush, what have you got for us? Well, I don't want any of these. The only thing that I think would have any effect would be Ludovico. That's not Ludovico, that's uh, Anti-Gravity Tears. So let's pick it up. It just looks like it increased my fire rate substantially. So I'm fine with that. Oh, darn. Saw that coming too. Piercing tears are really nice with carrying queen because I can just hit her butt. Yep, she's dead. Excuse me, spiders, I don't like you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this up so I can stay here and shoot my laser across the room. Oh nope. Oh peep messed that up. Ugly peep's about to die. There you are. Alright, Loki and Blast Assist, correct? Yes. Blast assist, stop it. Blast assist is really aggressive in this game, and I think it's a harder boss than this game, so. It's a thing. Oh my god, get away from me. Alright. Alright. There's an eternal heart, so. Health ups are nice. Remember, I got the other eternal heart from Maggie's Faith upon entering the floor. Don't know exactly where everyone is. Just gonna shoot. There you are. Alright. Monstro and Chad is this wave. Shouldn't be too hard. The worst waves are yet to come. All three of them have not come yet. There are three bad waves in this. There are waves that are difficult to make. And those waves are the, um, bloat and the mask of infamy. The war and death. And the, um, monster 2 and gish waves. 
those waves to me are the most difficult. So I don't know why. Um, oh, here's one of them. I have no idea why uh, anti gravity tears increase my fire rate like this. Like, that's really weird to me. But hey, I'm fine with it. Ouch, I didn't know you did the high jump. Nope. Oh, I heard that. Alright, monster two. No more enemies for you. No more friends for you. Or my enemies. Darn. Widow and Pin is this wave. Just gotta be careful of Pin. Pin should die early. That's how Pin works. He just dies even though he has some of his health bar filled up. That's fine though. I like it. Don't have to kill him all the way. Alright. Oh, this wave. So somehow I already killed the mask. I don't know how that happened. But it happened. Alright, here's the horseman waves. I like how this worked out. Gotta kill death quickly. So he doesn't spawn the scythes. Yep, there you go. Death is not a worry anymore. The scythes are terrible in this game. They're so hard to dodge. Alright, war's next. I don't really care about the horse, it's fine. I'll just stand over here because I know the horse is going towards me. So I'll be effectively able to dodge it, but it's gone anyway. And this is the last wave, so... Especially with piercing, this will be just fine. Hey, we got Missing No and the Mom's Wig, which is really good. Alright, no Tinted Rocks in here. And, cool. Alright. Oh, we're done with that. Curse of the Maze. That will sometimes teleport us to rooms that we didn't enter. Um, if it happens, I'll show you. Or I'll point it out. Mom's wig is good because it uh, spawns spiders for me. Sometimes. Tinder rocks are harder to see in the womb, so I'm trying to keep my eye out for him. And I hate this room. Just because I hate these enemies. And Yep, there you go. I thought I was going to get hit there. Or not there specifically, but in that room. That was a nice fight. Two of hearts doubles my red hearts. Like, not containers, but the red hearts themselves. Definitely not a war room worth... Oh my god, goodbye. I hate masks and hearts. Like the boss? Yeah, the boss isn't that bad. The enemies are much worse. Just because they often show up in packs. Polycephalus, again. If I get cornered by you, you twat, I will not be happy. Alright, more head from Krampus. Wrecks that room. Pills, I don't really want to bomb for him. Cool. Yep, it did it there. See him in the same room I just was. Thanks, Maze. Ah, I almost got hit there. Thank goodness I didn't. Um, I don't like this room at all. There we go. Probably should have saved it for this big room. But actually, it turned out really well, because I got a battery instead. Alright. Get some 
cube of meat damage in there. Cube of meat obviously does a ton of damage in this game, really. Oh, there's the actual death. We'll just die in like zero seconds. There's Dark Bomb, which will make my life really nice. Changes red hearts into soul hearts, so I'll, I'm gonna go around the floor and have him do that for me. Considering we have a nice. Here, it'll be faster if I just do that. Considering I have a nice amount of red hearts on this floor. Hey, go get that one. Go get it. There you go. Bring it over here. So you should drop. Yeah, soul heart. Air. There's some over here. Unfor unfortunately, I'd full cleared this womb level. That's alright, though. Not a big deal, because I'm doing really well on everything. Fire rate and damage and health is now very good, thanks to Dark Bum. Alright. That's it. We're good to go. I don't know why I went in there. Hopefully, maze, the Curse of the Maze doesn't screw us up like it has been in the past like three rooms. And there we go. So the cube of meat that we got from death upgrades my other cube of meat. Or my, not my other cube of meat, my first cube of meat to uh, not only be an orbital but also shoot tears now. I don't know why I did that. It's dumb. But that shouldn't be a problem. Taking damage shouldn't be much of a problem anymore because Dark Bomb is so good. Goodbye. So I got the Necronomicon for using death on probably some number of enemies. Fine by me. Pin's in here. Hello, Pin. Goodbye, Pin. Two of hearts? Well, I only need one of them. Ah, oh, darn. I was dumb. I just didn't feel like moving, I guess. I was like, hey, I'm gonna not move today. That sounds like a great plan. Yep, that's what happened. Alright, technology's good for this room, because I can just kill everyone from across the room. Darn, I got hit still. Screw you. Yeah, bitch. Alright. Excuse me one moment, I'm gonna go check to see what I need to do. I can never remember. Huh. I could go to the dark room. Could, I'm gonna go and see if I can unlock the Polaroid this time. So let's go to the cathedral. I don't know how many more cathedral runs I need to unlock the Polaroid, but... We'll find out, hopefully. And the Polaroid, of course, is a very good item. It um, gives us five seconds inv of invincibility when we take damage, and if we have uh, one half red, one half red heart or less. Like only when we have a half red heart or less. I can see forever. Show us the secret top secret room. It's fine. Not really a big deal. Boss can't be below us because it's dead. Hey, Isaac's here. Well, I was just like, hey, why not take damage here? That'd be nice. Thought I might as well just use that at the very first opportunity. So freezing is really nice on Isaac because he'll stop like shooting and stuff. Oop. No, thank you, Isaac. I not interested in what you're selling. So my strategy for the light attack is to go in the bottom left corner because when I do it, I usually don't get hit there. I don't think I ever get hit here, actually. I don't think I remember being hit here at all. That's fine, really. Yeah, I think the bottom, whatever I said, left is very safe. Alright, almost there, goodbye Isaac. Alright, 
Alright, so we got Lazarus's rags for defeating uh, Isaac with Lazarus. Uh, that's cool. And did we get the Polaroid yet? No, we did not. So let me see how many characters we've beaten the cathedral with. Um, one. Two. Three. So we should just need one or two more to get the Polaroid. Then we can choose where we want to go. Hey, uh, we're only at 30 minutes. I'm going to do an Azazel run. Hold on. That was bad. Let me go back. I'm doing it in hard mode. And I'm gonna do well this time, I swear. And if I don't, well then, beat me up all you want about it. But I feel like I'm playing alright today, so let's try this out. Azazel is very overpowered, so it's really nice. Starts off with this brimstone laser and three black hearts. And we get Lazarus's rags as our first item. At least we're picking it up. What it does is it gives us Lazarus's respawn effect, where we respawn with one red heart. And also, uh. One red heart and the freaking whatever it's called. I really took damage there? Really. Why don't I just, like, stop playing this game forever? Oh, well, that's Gimpy. That'll give us a soul heart. Or a chance to get a soul heart when we get hit. So that's pretty good. I'm indifferent about it, really, because it doesn't activate all that often. Nope, I don't like that. to charge up all the way, and then we'll just get mag magic mushroom for an all stats up and a 1.5 times damage multiplier, or at least if it's not, it feels like it. it feels like I have lots of damage now, so there we go. So that's really great. The problem that I usually have with the Zazel, it's it's my own fault, obviously. But it's just like I never charge it right. I always miss charge it. The laser. Deck of cards. Here a font. Well that's really good. Two soul hearts for me. No tinted rocks in here. Don't really want to spend the time looking for them. So I don't have to complete the boss rush this run, but I still do want to go fast, because already a 30 minute long video and stuff. Alright, Fistula. Just get wrecked a little bit. Toothpicks is a tears and shot speed up, as you can see. And... Huh. Book of Belial is really, yeah. And it's, it's awesome because it guarantees our devil room. And it's a huge damage up for a room. And usable every three rooms, of course. So it's really good. I'm sure the guaranteed devil room thing is just a glitch. But they haven't patched it yet, I believe. So... Well, okay then. I realize I can't see my health this floor, so... Probably keep track of that. I think I'm at three soul heart type things. I think it's uh, two two black hearts and one soul heart now that I took a full heart of damage. Oh, I hate this room. I'm, I'm so terrible with these enemies. The freaking those just just those types too. Like I'm fine with the other types of shooty spiders. Alright, well, explosive diarrhea. That's not what I want. I'm 
amnesia. That's not what I want either. I found pills. That's useless. What is this? Ah, oh, yes, the Black Lotus. That's just what I needed. HP up times three. No, that is not three red hearts. That means that I got one red heart and three soul hearts of health. No, one red heart and one black heart and one soul heart. That's what it is. Not three soul hearts. That's ridiculous. Goat hoof is a speed up. I mean, okay. Oh, what? Excuse me. Excuse me. Really? Did you not see that? I shot it twice and it didn't die. Well, since I can't see my health, I'm gonna die. That's how, how it usually goes, at least. This is a shop, right? Yeah, compass. That's really nice. Definitely should have bought the soul heart, though. That was my mistake. Wasn't paying attention. I was like, ooh, item. Compass, I like. Bye. Alright. All bandages. How to look them all. Sure. I don't want that item. Ghost baby. No thank you. Rather keep my one red heart. Which I believe is what I have. Yes. So I don't have, like, that terrible health, but, like, I don't have good health either. This is probably gonna be worth it. Excuse me, chub. I was walking here. I'm not walking. I'm flying. <sighs> How many times can I get hit by chub? Like, really. I've been bad at chub lately. I was running right into him. Alright. Aw, oh, come on. I don't think... Alright, well, this is officially not worth it. I thought it might be, because soul hearts. But as you can see, we didn't get any of those, and we just lost health. Amnesia, I don't want. Pretty fly, that's good. It's another orbital. For us to block tears and do some damage to fly type enemies. So I need some soul hearts, please. Or some black hearts. Or a health up would be good too. Another red heart. Alright, so the shop might be viable once again. I don't like the bottom wall spiders hitboxes. I don't think they're very good. Don't be stupid. Alright. It's fine. Good. Good. I am gonna go to the item room. I just thought I'd go to the boss first, because why not? Really? That's how you want to be? This happens with every Azazel run too. Like I just, I just don't play well. And yeah, all those hits were my own fault. All right, goodbye, Gertie. Don't get hit by any of this stupid stuff. Speed up, size down, and a pill. You know, not really great. This is happening. No, I can't. Guarantee devil rooms, though. Uh, fuck. I need it. So the nail. It's, uh, it's a thing. It'll let me gain a soul heart every six rooms. Well, okay then. And then two more soul hearts when I just find a room like that and happen to get good soul heart luck. That was pretty crazy. What is this? Explosive diarrhea? You know, I don't want this. I'm just gonna use it and get out of my way. Another key on hard mode. That's insane. That's another health up in the form of stem cells. That's the jar, which I don't want, but I don't believe I've picked it up yet, so I'll pick it up. 
And it lets me save red hearts for later, but I'm at low red hearts, so I don't need it. Can I? Yeah, I can. I, I want another key, actually, because we're on hard mode, so drops are less common. Alright, no secret room there. I'll try and find the secret room, I guess. It could be here. And it is, and that's really nice, because I, I want to go to the cursed room at no cost. Guppy's Collar is another respawn for us. And it puts us one third of the way to being Guppy. Since we got six cents from the secret room, I want to go put that in the donation machine. Trying to get as much donations in as we can. Alright, and it still hasn't clogged yet, so that's good. Alright, uh, I don't want to open that chest. I need to save this key for the item room on the next floor. Alright. So hopefully we get another pretty fly pill sometime in the future. So we can have three orbitals. Three orbitals is really nice. Oh, didn't even notice that. That's fine though. Eternal heart, that'll turn into a health up on the next floor. Alright. I should use this in this room because it also increases my damage and lets me break rocks. Because maybe there's a tinted rock in here. But also maybe there's a bomb rock. Yep, there it is down there. I see you. Ooh, I like it when you... Alright, Chubb. I knew that that was gonna happen too. That, that's, that was really dumb of me. Like most of the times I take damage, it's just really dumb damage. That's alright. Got the nail. So we have some health regeneration. Three pins in this room. That's That could be bad, but also could not be. Oh, don't get hit by those. Those do a full heart of damage. Alright, boss in the item room is this way. Those are the only things I need, of course. Hey, can you stop jumping? Thanks. I guess the boss isn't this way, then. So this is, like... I don't, I don't remember. Scorpio. Poison Tears. Alright, gotta remember that. I don't know if it works with, um... My shot. Oh, yeah, it does. Never mind, I saw a little bit of poison there. Yeah, definitely works. I don't know why it wouldn't, I just I just didn't think it would for some reason. Well shop would be viable if we had a key, which we don't. Try not to waste any charges for our nail here. Alright. Neat. This is depth one, so we can go back. Gish. This will get us a little gish, which which shoots slowing tears for us. It's familiar that shoots slowing tears. That's what I mean by that. Uh, gish isn't all that bad. Just gish combo with monster two is darn. Yep. There's a little gish. I guess we haven't fought gish before, so. There we go. Guppy's collar. Well, it's really good, but I don't I don't see any need for it. Screw it, I'll do it. Not gonna keep it though. So now we're two thirds of the way to being guppy. And uh it it's a thing. 
So I'm gonna go around the floor and try to get another. Wow, I hate you, game. Another. Oh my god. Could this be it? Not gonna say anything. Darn. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that or this. Alright. I really thought that was gonna do it for me. Alright, I'm going through all these rooms to find A another key, because thanks to me, you didn't make me do anything, but I stupidly ran into one of your uh your little traps there. Alright, no, no soul hearts from that. Alright then, so no way into the shop, which is unfortunate. Totally my fault though. I ran into this room over here and just hit into this thing, used my key like a fool. But it's alright, we're doing pretty well. Got health regeneration and some stuff too. Alright, so we'll get free chest. Thank you. I don't want to open that uh, chest just because I only have one key now. But all that free stuff was nice. Pact is really good. That's two damage up. Or no, not two damage up. That'd be crazy. It's damage up, tears up, and two soul hearts. Since we got it for free and we didn't have to pay for it, it doesn't even, like, make up for the two red hearts we trade for it. We just get the soul hearts. That's really good. Now we're almost at max health. That's also really good. Oh my god, I almost did it again. Alright. What is this? Leo, Stompy. I don't like that. <laughs> Ah, I keep forgetting what Leo is. Leo isn't really good for me because it screws up my uh, flying over rocks and wrecking things. I guess it's alright. Gives me this glorious mane, so it's not all bad. Magician, I believe, does nothing with uh, Zazel's brimstone shot. So now I have to be very careful not to fly over any bomb rocks. Death and moon. Moon's a secret room teleport. I'll use it. Alright, bombs. Uh, no, I'm not gonna mess with those. It's about to walk all over them, but then I realized those can hurt me. The mushrooms can um, shoot out a little gas that hurts me. Bombs are key, I like that. Nine keys is great. Alright, so treasure map, we get the full visible map. So now we have the map and compass, so we can see where everything is and stuff. Now we have two amnesia pills, which I don't want, so goodbye. Let me pick on my goat hoof again. But it's alright, because we can buy another amnesia pill. Right there. So I'm gonna not do that. Alright, what's in here? Um. Huh. Uh huh. See, I hate that attack. And he does it four times in a row in a rapid succession. So that was a thing. Nope. Probably should have saved that for the mom boss, but it doesn't really matter because I'm doing alright damage anyway. Here's mom. One curse of darkness, so it's gonna be dark. A little harder to see the shadow. Of mom's foot, I mean. 
Because I heard her. Yeah, I can still hear. So pick up the negative. Which is good. We'll get some stuff. I don't need to do this boss rush. I really don't. But I think that's Capricorn, which is an all stats up. I don't I don't know. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Checking for tinted rocks and then I'm leaving. Alright, no. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, the depths. Alright, so map and compass is very good for the wound, because I can just see where the boss is and not have to care about anything else except for the curse room, which I'll probably be going to. I like I would like a bomb or two just for tinted rocks. Uh, that's not the boss, it's a mini boss. Oh, the boss is all the way down there. Jeez. Alright then. There's some money, I guess, for uh Alright, well this is nice. Ceremonial robes, that's Sinna. Gives us three black hearts. Play the beggar a little bit. Unfortunately, beggars don't show up on the map anymore. That kind of sucks. I lost a heart for going into the curse room, so I know it was worthwhile using my uh, nail there. Alright. Oh, that uh, was close. Thank goodness Gish slowed it for me. I don't like this room. This room is nasty. Thank goodness I have ridiculously high speed. It's actually not gonna help that much, but you know. Help me get away from them. Darn. I can't be too close to this guy when I kill him. Because that'll happen. Well not that, but he'll explode into stuff. Nope, that guy's gonna explode, god damn it. At least I got a soul heart for it. Need to use that now so I get uh the most charge out of it. Alright. Teratoma. It's fine. Can't hide over any rocks, so that sucks. And I, I just ran into that. Because, you know, why not? Of running into things. So we couldn't see our health for that floor, but now we can, and we can realize that, oh, I'm not actually doing that bad. I'm only missing two health. Two hearts. Whatever you, what, however you want to say it. Yeah, no. nothing. It was worth a try. Of course this is hard mode, so we're gonna get tons of champions, and less drops from those champions. This is kind of annoying. Alright. Well, that's good. Not what I was looking for, but it's good. Alright, let's do this. No, I'm not using Tammy's head. So, um, I believe we have to fight three bosses here. Just cause. Just cause why not, really. I'll pick it up, though. Oh, wait, but it's so, it's so good. With... It's so good with Azazel. I want it. Oh... We'll roll with Tammy's head for this floor, but I probably am going to need the health generation. See? Look at that. Thanks, Gimpy. I forgot I had you as an item. Yeah, we're definitely going to need the health generation. Sorry, Tammy's head. It's, it's so good. Alright. Oh, 
does so much damage too. <sighs> See, look at that. Like, why would I ever need anything else? Alright, I got wrapped baby for that. For some reason. And, um... Huh. Where do I want to go? Let me go get my nail and think about it. <sighs> Darn. I love Tammy's head, but I, I can't have you. I know I can't. It's not going to be worth it. Because I'm probably just going to die if I don't keep my nail. Oh, I'll blow you guys up. See what you want to give me. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know what I was asking for there. Well, we're close to getting, um, the thing, so... Let's go to the cathedral. The Polaroid, I mean. Alright, so... Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Definitely not recommended. Definitely probably should not do this. Terrible idea. But I'm doing it. Choice of diarrhea. Darn. Darn. Extra darn. That sucks. I really wanted it too. Sides. Oh, I'd like that bomb, please. Death again? Really? Just in a smaller room? No, I'm I'm bet a little better at dealing with death in a smaller room, just because I can see everything at once. Oh, this room. Wonderful room. I don't want to spend the time here. That was so lucky. I probably definitely should have gotten into there. Alright. Hello, war. I killed you, your superior twice without taking damage, so I can definitely do it to you. Alright, hello, Isaac. So this is going terribly. Oh my god, really? How am I supposed to get in close without taking damage? Darn you, Isaac. Wow, that's cool. Uh, okay, that was close. Alright. Did not go very swimmingly. But that's alright. Did it. Yay! All right, cool. Two uh, two runs, almost 30 minutes each run, exactly. Both going to Isaac and both beating Isaac. So that's awesome. We got the Satanic Bible for beating Isaac with Azazel. And um, let's go back to normal. So we've done that stuff. I guess we need one more win with someone. It should be just one more, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, that was really fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.